this is my journey through tarot. Come on, let's go. So today, it's going to be Rudy Giuliani. What's going on there? They've raided his home. They've raided his office. Let's see about Rudy. Okay, so Rudy Giuliani, what's happening? Here we go. This is wiki stuff. Uh, Rudolph William Louis Giuliani was born May 28, 1944, in the East Flatbush section of Brooklyn, New York, an Italian-American uh, enclave at the time. He was the only child of working-class parents, Helen and Harold Angelo Giuliani, uh, who were children themselves of Italian immigrants with Tuscan descent on the father's side. Rudy was raised Roman Catholic. Dad was a bartender and a plumber and had trouble holding a job. He was convicted of felony assault and robbery and served prison time in Sing Sing. Uh, once released, he worked as an enforcer for his brother-in-law, Leo de Ivanzo, who operated an organized crime-affiliated loan-sharking gambling ring at a restaurant in Brooklyn. Rudy's parents <laughs> lived in East Flatbush until Dad died of prostate cancer in 1981 when Mom moved to Manhattan's Upper East Side. Uh, 1951, when Giuliano was seven, the family moved to Garden City South. He attended Catholic school. Now, in 1968, uh, Giuliani, Giuliani graduated Manhattan College, majored in political science, and minored in philosophy, and uh, considered becoming a priest, but instead attended the New York University of Law in Manhattan, and uh, made the NYU Law Review, graduated cum laude with a Juris Doctor degree, and started his political life as a Democrat, volunteering for Robert F. Kennedy's presidential campaign. After uh, graduating law school, Rudy clerked for a judge of the Southern District of New York. And then in 1969, Rudy did not serve in the military. He was deferred while enrolled at Manhattan College and NYU Law. Then upon graduation, he was classified 1A, which is available for military service, but was reclassified 2A, which is essential civilian, uh, for his work as a law clerk. Then uh, 1970, Giuliani was again released, in, uh, or rather he was reclassified uh, 1A, but received a high 308 draft lottery number and was not called for service because of that. Uh, 1975, Giuliani, Giuliani switched from Democrat to Independent and when recruited as Chief of Staff to Deputy Attorney General Harold, Harold uh, Tyler with the Ford administration, so Republican administration. 1981, Giuliani sir, uh, named, was named <laughs> Associate Attorney General in the Republican Reagan administration. And then in 1983, Giuliani was appointed U.S. Attorney for where? The Southern District of New York. Rudy's critics said he arranged for people to be arrested, then dropped the charges rather than going to trial. Now, in 1994 to 2001, he was the first Republican mayor of New York City since 1965. And then uh, in 1997, he was the first registered Republican to win a second term as a mayor since 1941. So all of that took place between 94 and 2001. Then uh, 2001, for his mayoral leadership after the September 11th attacks, uh, he was called America's Mayor and named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Uh, 2002, he was given an honorary knighthood by Queen Elizabeth the second of the United Kingdom. In 2002, Giuliani founded a security consulting business, Giuliani Partners. Uh, 2005, he acquired but later sold investment banking firm Giuliani Capital Advisors and joined a law firm renamed Bracewell and Giuliani. Now, in 2018, Rudy joined Trump's personal legal team. In 2019, he was under federal investigation for violating uh, lobbying laws and several other charges as a central figure in the Ukraine scandal, which resulted in 45's first impeachment. But then uh, 2020, following the presidential election, Rudy represented Trump in many lawsuits in attempts to overturn the election, making false and debunked allegations about rigged voting machines, polling place fraud, and international communist conspiracy. Present day, federal investigators executed search warrants at Rudy's Manhattan home and office, seizing electronic devices, part of the investigation focus on the Ukraine. These issues are being revisited by the current Justice Department under who? Attorney General Merrick Garland and Deputy Attorney General 
Lisa Monaco. So this represents a significant escalation, meaning law enforcement has convinced a judge there is probable cause and uh, that the search will turn up evidence of crime. Hmm. Okay, Rudy, let's see what's going on for you, buddy. Okay, so this will be Rudy Giuliani. Let's see what's going on for him now. He's in the news. He's getting old. He's in peril. What's going on? Well, it looked to me like this crow tarot by MJ Kulinan would be a good deck to use for poor Rudy. These are beautiful cards. They come in a cool box. It's nice and sturdy. Feels like you've got something for your money, which they're not that expensive. I mean, they're on the upper end for, for cards. Probably 20 25 bucks, I think. They've got a nice book that comes with them. And it just, you know, outlines, you know, kind of how what the intention was of the uh, author and the artist in, in the divination of these cards. So that's always nice to have, but they followed the uh, Rider Waite uh, system, so that's good. The cards themselves are really nice. I'll show them to you. So crows, like I said before, are like smart birds. And Giuliani was at one time a smart bird, so I don't know what happened to him. But he moved through the ranks. His family has all these shady connections. His poor dad spent time in Sing Sing and then was an enforcer for his own brother-in-law, some Italian Bianzo. Good heavens. Well, I'm sorry. These are great looking cards, by the way. Uh, sometimes the cards that come up here get like featured in the in the uh, reading. So it's interesting to do this. But mostly it's just an easy way to mix the cards and to let you see the cards, you know, if you don't go out and look at tarot cards all the time, which most people don't. I always find it weird that people kind of insist on shuffling these cards like this and not let you see what they're shuffling. What's the difference when you shuffle them this way when you have no control over what's going on anyway? So, you know, what's the, what's the mystery about? I'm going to have to stop this to answer my telephone because I'm getting a little page there. So let's put these together and see. So, yeah, these are great cards. And uh, I think they're going to tell us a good story about poor, misguided, maybe, Rudy. Seems like he just spent his life trying to get to the top, and he gets to the top a bunch, and then, you know, those shady roots, is that what it is that, that makes him, I don't know. It's in people's DNA sometimes, and they fool us for such a long time. Okay, let's quit lamenting over that. Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, what, what, what is going on for you right now? I don't really want to know... Giuliani, what's going on in your brain? I want to know what's going to happen to you in this uh, terrifying investigation that they've got against you. I mean, you know, would you think after being in the Southern District of New York that you knew enough that you could run this little scheme without saying or doing anything quite bad enough to really get you into, you know, in jail time? Is that what you thought? Is that what's going on? So, no, I've got to rewrite this thing. What is going to happen? To Rudy, what is going to happen to Rudy? Okay, we'll do a spread, then we'll do a full Celtic cross and see how Rudy is going to fare with this. Let's take six cards right off the top just to get started. This one wants to come, so we'll take that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll put these aside because we'll get four more in just a minute to finish up the reading. So Rudy, Rudy, old buddy, old pal, what in the world is going on for you? What's going to happen to you, Rudy? Signifier card for this read is the Nine of Wands. And you know, the Nine of Wands is pretty much, you know, somebody who's really been through the ringer. I'll let you take a look at that a little bit closer. But that's, um, you know, Rod's, rods are action, movement, uh, planning, and the Nine of Rods, Nine of Wands really tells you that this person has had a lot of planning. I mean, they're kind of ahead of the game. You know, he's in, in, ahead of all these, these things. So these could be a lot of actions, a lot of issues that he seems to be a step ahead of or handling one at a time. We've got the sun peeking out from the clouds over here, so I would say, you know, it looks like he's handling all these issues that he created for himself. So there you go. The signifier for this then is a knight of swords, a knight of swords. You know, I think this is the challenge, rather, I'm sorry, this, the challenge for the signifier card 
is the Knight of Swords. And take a look at that. So swords are action, truth, justice, sometimes health, but it's forward movement. And this knight, you know, the knights are going to get something done. This guy is charged, this crow as a knight is charging in on this white steed, you know, waving this uh, sword around. So I think this is the challenge to him uh, trying to handle uh, these uh, actions uh, that are that are plaguing him. The crows love to take sticks and do something with them. So he's kind of created this situation that has given him something to do until the end of his life, it seems like to me. And his challenge is, you know, the justice, justice coming in on him. The base of this reading then is, oh my God, I can't believe it, justice. In fact, just what I said, the base of the reading is justice. I don't think much more needs to be said besides that. Good grief. Okay, so the past of this reading then is uh, the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups, you know, cups are emotion, uh, passion. This cup is really running over with a lot of emotion. And I think what's happened in the past is uh, Rudy has been looking for some sort of energy in his life. I mean, look at the fire around this cups. So, it, you know, I just can't help but think that this is what he was uh, looking into, a great big offer of some kind of excitement. And uh, he certainly got it. Now, in the sky for this reading, let me make sure all these cards are going to show up on the camera. I hope they do. The sky for this reading is going to be the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a very strong um, advocate for truth. And uh, who was that? Lisa Monaco, I think it is, who's uh, handling as the Deputy uh, Attorney General. Yeah, Lisa Monaco. So this could represent her in this issue um, that Rudy has to deal with. And uh, this uh, Queen of Swords is... Um, is a very strange uh, indicator. So how about that? Now the the likely outcome of this part of this uh, Celtic cross then, huh, that's very interesting, but who is it celebrations for? So this is a Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups would kind of refer to as the greedy merchant. And um, so I, you know, this is a pair down here. I don't think this card represents Julie, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani. I think this card represents um, justice right here. Yeah, really displaying all the trophies in their rainbow of, of, of emotional uh, truths that they have um, in their in their possession. Huh. So the self of this investigation, the self of the government versus Giuliani, the self of this, what is that going to be indicated by? And I'm going to actually spread these cards a little bit and, uh, and, and select them that way. So the self of this uh, is going to be what? It's going to be... Queen of Cups. So we're back to this queen again. Uh, the Queen of Cups is, is a queen of emotion, uh, energy, um, uh, passion, and really uh, this queen seems to have a plethora of, of um, helpers or things that she can use or to uh, fortify herself uh, up uh, towards this uh, turbulent uh, situation that's so emotional. So this Queen of Cups has to still be the Queen of Cups involved um, right there. So this is the government. This is the U.S. Uh, attorney's office. This is the deputy attorney. The ch the environment that this card finds itself in then is going to be what? It's going to be, wow. This is an embarrassment of choices. You know, you have so many choices. Uh, this crow is looking around and trying to decide what of all of these uh, seven cups uh, are they going to use uh, to as the best tool because crows are terrific tool users uh, to accomplish uh, their goal. That's the environment that they're in. It's an environment of plenty, plenty to choose from. Um, the hopes and the fears. So I don't know if this will represent Rudy's hopes and fears or the government's hopes and fears. But the hopes and fears, ah, okay, having to make a choice. So I think it's still the government. I think they have so many things to deal with. It's just making the choice of what makes the strongest uh, truth, the strongest justice, the strongest way to outcome. And you see here that this crow is actually blindfolded almost. It looks like like justice is blind kind of thing. Um, so that's the hopes and the fears. Um, it's the hopes that you have a lot to choose from and the fear that you don't choose the right one, I suppose. But then the final outcome for this reading on uh, Rudy Giuliani is going to be the um, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is really building uh, your case. Uh, really uh, honing your craft. I don't quite understand the depiction. Oh, this is the Nine of Pentacles. 
This is the nine of pentacles. I'm so wrong. The nine is actually telling us that we have got so much. We are so emboldened with the value of, of what we're bringing to the table that we're just luxuriating in it. Uh, we are on top of, of, of the world. And the, the truth is sunshiny. We have rebirth. Uh, we have flowering trees. We have a ton of pentacles to use here. Yeah, this is the position of the government uh, in this situation. That's what that is. So I'm going to say this does not look very good for poor old Rudy. And probably the best thing that can happen to him is that he doesn't last uh, to suffer the consequences of what's going to happen. That's how that looks to me. So Rudy Giuliani versus the government doesn't look good um, it just ends up I mean everything in favor of the government the government ends up with you know a plethora of choices uh, to choose from uh, as their tools in making this happen and uh, the only uh, fear and hope is that they go the, the right way and then in the end the final outcome was just you know so much uh, to choose from in this nine of Pentacles I mean just you know having plenty 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 not wanting for anything and that's how they're gonna be in this the situation for Judy Rudy Rudy why don't I call him Judy but Rudy Giuliani well I'm Mark this is my journey through tarot I hope you enjoyed it it's, uh, it was a very interesting read for poor Rudy and uh, if you're not doing anything tomorrow stop on by I'll be here and we'll, we'll jump on the tarot train and go somewhere else so ciao for now <music>